In today's video, we'll be sharing with you unseen photos and rare facts about the legendary Elvis Presley. The king of rock and roll came from a humble background. Born on the 8th of January 1935 in Tupelo, Mississippi, Elvis Aaron Presley was a twin. But unfortunately, his brother was a stillbirth. His parents named him Jesse Garen Presley to honor his memory. Thanks to his religious background, Elvis was introduced to gospel music at quite a young age, and on his 11th birthday, he received his first guitar. After graduating from Humes High School in 1953, he worked odd jobs to save enough money to record a demo. In that same year, Sam Phillips, owner of Sun Studio, discovered Elvis and produced his first single, That's Alright. It was then that Elvis signed with the studio and began his music career touring around the country to boost his profile. Elvis was introduced to the world as a singer, but he also ventured into the movie industry. By 1956, Elvis made his on-screen debut in the movie Love Me Tender. The movie was a huge hit at the box office, and this transition into film was huge for his career. Thanks to his mainstream appeal, Elvis got himself a three-year contract with Paramount Pictures in 1956. By the end of 1957, Presley had starred in three films and he had a throng of devoted fans both for his films and also for his music. As a result, reporters began to call him the King of Rock and Roll. The nickname stuck and later he was simply called The King. Elvis Presley became a national sensation in 1956 with his song release, Heartbreak Hotel. As he progressed, he went on to dazzle audiences with his unique music style, provocative hip gyrations, and most of all, his electric personality. But even after becoming a famous star, at the peak of his career, Elvis was drafted into the United States Army in 1957. By March 1958, he entered the army at the Memphis Draft Board. As expected, Elvis's fans were outraged that he was drafted into the army. He didn't mind though, and in fact, he insisted on serving his country. He asked to be treated like anyone else while in the force. This graciously earned him the respect of many of his fellow soldiers and people who had previously viewed him in a negative light. Here is a rare photo of Elvis being weighed in at Fort Chaffee in Arkansas, wearing nothing but briefs. He stands on a scale while an army doctor measures his height at a pre-induction physical examination at Kennedy Veterans Hospital. And here is Private Elvis Presley wearing only underwear and raising his arms along with several other inductees during an inspection at Fort Chaffee. Funny enough, when Elvis joined the army, the Navy, the Air Force, and even the Pentagon were disappointed. They all made an effort trying to bring Elvis into their units. He couldn't have been more popular. The Navy even went so far as proposing a special Elvis Presley company, which would consist of Elvis's buddies. And if that wasn't enough, he would be assigned his private quarters. The Pentagon dangled the idea of Elvis joining the special services without the need for regular training, but regular training was what Elvis wanted. This is probably why he chose the Army. The Army, also eager to be on Elvis's favorable side, suggested that he could be flown globally from base to base to boost the morale of the troops. Here is another rare photo of Elvis in his full soldier uniform as he poses with his guitar. Elvis sailed to Europe on the USS General Randall after joining the 32nd Tank Battalion, 3rd Armored Division in Germany in 1958. He served in this division for 18 months before finishing his service requirements. Here is a photo of Elvis in his uniform, posing from inside an army tanker with another tanker in the background. He was 23 years old at the time. After achieving the rank of sergeant, Elvis was honorably discharged from active duty in March 1960. While the rock and roll king was living on the German army base in 1959, he met Priscilla Beaulieu, who was 14 years old at the time. She was living there with her parents, and her father was a U.S. Air Force captain. 
Elvis and Priscilla began a relationship despite being 10 years apart in age. After two years of his discharge from the army, Elvis invited Priscilla to join him in the United States. By 1963, when Priscilla was 17 years old, her parents allowed her to move to Memphis, finish high school, and live with the king at his Graceland mansion. The two lovebirds got married in a Las Vegas ceremony on May 1, 1967. It was revealed that the couple, who had been living together five years before the wedding, claimed that they were not intimate with one another until their wedding night. Here is a photo of Elvis and Priscilla on their wedding day. With Elvis in a black tux and bow tie and Priscilla in a white wedding dress being showered with confetti. As romantic as that sounded, the press did not believe them. However, just nine months after, the couple welcomed their daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, in 1968. Here is a photo of the couple being photographed in the hospital before bringing Lisa Marie home to Graceland. A few years later, the couple separated, and by 1973, their divorce was finalized after reaching a shared custody plan for their daughter. Shortly after his separation from his wife, Elvis met Linda Thompson, a model and former beauty queen. The two were together for four years. Here is a rare photo of Elvis in a car with Linda. He is wearing his famous white and gold jumpsuit during his 1975 tour. Another interesting rare fact is that Elvis never performed outside of North America, even though an estimated 40% of his music sales were outside the U.S. Apart from a handful of concerts he gave in Canada in 1957, he never performed on foreign soil. Sources suggest that Elvis's manager, Colonel Parker, was to blame. He turned down lucrative offers for the singer to perform abroad, because Parker was an illegal immigrant and he feared he wouldn't be allowed back into the U.S. if he traveled abroad. Here's a photo of Elvis with Colonel Tom Parker. With the Colonel smoking a pipe with a typewriter in front of him, Elvis is beside the Colonel in a gray checkered suit and his glasses in his hands. Elvis released many iconic songs and starred in many epic movies that have left a lasting legacy even decades after his death. We've come to the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. You can also hit the notification bell so you never miss a historic video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.